Okay, <coughs> on the right hand uh, you can see uh, a bracelet uh, from Africa that my daughter bought me. It's made from recycled glass. <coughs> this is the drawing. Never call them a sketch. A sketch is um, an inconsequential sort of um, bad drawing, really. And it's just a bit like calling um, soil dirt. Soil's a, a living material that uh, gives birth and drawing is is breathed and um, meditated and enjoyed as an act of um, grace and love. So this is a drawing. <coughs> I like wearing a fedora hat because uh, it sort of keeps the sun out of my eyes and uh, shelters me. Makes me feel a bit more secure. So the tracery of the drawing is just uh, the essential essence of the, the building. Here, what I've done, you can see a pen on the uh, butler's tray to my right, uh, which is full of uh, soluble ink, and so I, uh, I draw with that uh, over the pencil drawing. And then here, I'm just sort of melting it so I can get a sort of 3D strongest sort of set of contrasts between light and dark. Um, as you can see, as we come back from it, when it's less wet, uh, it gives you these warm greys and little bits of browns, and it sort of suits the kind of oxidisation of a building. Um, here I'm putting layered washes over the top. Because of this sort of um, um, protective sort of metal that sort of tucks underneath the tiles, um, I wanted to add a bit of white gouache there. I bruise in with this bamboo stick um, while the paper's wet, and that sort of gives you a, a green on green, and it's sort of uh, a bit like etching the paper as, uh, as a watercolour wash across the top. The, um, the marks I've just made become visible to me, um, so I can actually see these bruised lines instead of pen lines, although we'll be putting pen lines on as well, it gives you greater richness. Here, um, I'm no longer in the street, this is sort of um, day after sort of this is just the putting the pencil bricks in so it's a rhythm really it's suitable to have music on in the background this is um Bob Dylan's um, new album he's put out a piece of his radio broadcast he's got some lovely rhythmic music on it so it sort of suits the lights coming in from my window to my to my right and um, it's just a nice thing to go home and uh, do the meditation bit that's musical, the rhythmic bit. Again, it's, uh, it's still seeing drawing and constructive and sort of, um, playfulness, but uh, it's just um, a dance, really, as you can see. So it's best done to me. It usually takes me quite often, so I'll uh, try and add the photos I took that I'll be working from. Although, well, when I do the original drawing, I, I always work in the street, and here I am back in the street. Days later. Music on in the car because it's raining outside. And um, Catherine Polwart playing in the background. Uh, chalk mark in the rain. It's it's because it's raining that I'm in the car, sort of doing the tracery, and now in a a rotary ink, um, which is a more permanent thing, much more light fast, and allows me to sort of thread all the detail back together. I continue to work into it, obviously, until it's as rich as I want it to be. You know, just saying about uh, putting the little red flowers in. Um, the, the lovely lady that commissioned me um, wanted to indicate the lavender that's going to grow, so I've left space in that white area in the middle. You probably can't hear my voice. I've got uh, um, the camcorder on for this bit, and it has got its own microphone. All the calls. All chrome. All chrome will be in the brightest colour. Tends to be in the It's nice to keep everything loose at this stage. Uh, talking to the camera um, about the variegated wash, which is just putting colours into colours. I think what I said was um, it's a bit like playing a chord on the guitar. You just run one chord into the next, and uh, 
for the chromatic scale the notes are all side by side so if you stroke your thumb across them you just run them together. So to commission this kind of work uh, you need to give me the size and details and uh, let me have a look. Um, 6201516251309 is the phone number or jim at jimtheartist.co.uk um, I'll try and put a, an array of images on the end of this uh, beautiful commission that I had and uh, God bless you all. Thank you. Okay, <coughs> on the right hand uh, you can see 